Do you ever feel trapped by the number of choices that you have in life today? Where you don't even feel like you can move forward, you can become paralyzed by all the options, whether they're good or bad. We get overwhelmed with all of these things in life and we can also get overwhelmed in our faith. Well, thanks for joining us for today's Daily Dose. My name is Trent Jenkins and this week's series is called The Simple Life. And we're trying to take a look at Jesus' teaching and how do we make faith a little bit more simple in this complicated world that we live in. We're in Matthew chapter 22, and ultimately Jesus had just done these amazing, amazing teachings, and it says the audience is astonished by his teachings. Now, this didn't make the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees very happy at all because all of a sudden they found a new hero in the faith. And they were being belittled by how much Jesus knew. And so one of them thought, we're going to trap him. We're going to trap Jesus with this question. He was an expert in the law. And he sang, came to him and he said this, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? The greatest. Of over the 600, what's the greatest one? Jesus replied this, Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your mind, and with all of your soul. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. All of the law and the prophets can be summed up in these two commands, Jesus said. He silenced them. Who could boil all of the commandments in God's word to these two except Jesus? And he, he silenced them in their trap. And I think oftentimes the very things that are meant to be able to help us in our faith can oftentimes paralyze us. The number of different daily devotionals that are options, uh, the different number of Bible reading plans or what worship songs to sing or number of people that we can possibly help in our day can lead us to this place where we don't even know where to move forward. We feel trapped and paralyzed and moving forward with action with what it is that God would have for us. And I think Jesus is trying to also simplify this for us. Of all of these commandments, of all the suggestions, of all the possibilities that you can do with your faith, Jesus says, focus on these two things. Love God, love others. These two simple things. And, and so in the midst of the complications, in the midst of the complexity of faith and what we should do and our purpose and finding God's will for us, I want to encourage you today, just start with that first part. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart. Does your heart beat for the things that God's heart beats for? Does it beat for people? Is it in a rhythm with what it is that God would have for you? God wants you to love him. He wants you to love others. He wants to take care of those who don't have anybody to take care of them for themselves. He wants you to reach out to that neighbor, possibly, that just needs an, an encouraging word. Us being obedient can be simple steps. They don't have to be complicated. They don't have to be huge. It's just taking a simple step to love him in a greater way. I remember falling in love with my wife for the very first time and she had my heart. And it meant that almost all of my day was focused in thinking about who she was and how I could possibly please her to a greater degree. And I'm just wondering, does God have your heart do you think about him in that way that you're just passionate about him? And you would say, that's a little bit too much for Trent, me, Trent. I, I get it. But it's just using it as an illustration to where we say, God, I want to think about you in a greater way. I want to act for you in a greater way because you have my heart. Let's keep it simple. Let's love him to a greater degree this week.